Sean's in California. Hey, Sean, how are you? I'm better than I deserve, Dave. How are you, sir? <laughs> Just the same, sir. How can Dr. John and I help? Well, I want to get your guys' advice. Um, I'm trying to have to help my mom make a good choice about a move. Um, she's had a little history of codependence with me, and she lives in Oregon. And she wants to move down here to California, but I think it's too expensive for her to do that. And I'm just curious, John, and Dave, how I can walk her through the baby steps and explain to her maybe what might be the best choice for her right now at her age. How old is she? She's 70, and she's divorced. And when I was 13, my parents went through a pretty horrific foreclosure and lost everything in that process. So there's a lot of history there, too, with this. Do you have grandkids? Do you have kids running around that she wants to, to see, or does she want to see you? <laughs> I'm getting more serious with my girlfriend, and I think she sees that in the forecast for sure. But not right now. I'm currently a bachelor. I'm in baby step 3B, 36, self-employed here in L.A. Hmm. So, yeah. and Dave, you can hop in. I, I'm going to recommend you don't try to solve this as a math problem. There's a math component to this, but you may be dealing with a 70-year-old lonely mom who yeah. recognizes that she's 70 and wants to be around her baby boy. She may be feeling that um, there's some other woman that's going to replace her, and so she wants to make sure she can get down there and get wedged between the two of you where she rightfully should be. Um, <laughs> and I'm just kidding, by the way. But the, 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 this sounds like a really emotional conversation that, again, sitting down with a, with a calculator isn't going to convict her heart. Um, I, I would want to sit down and, and want to know what she wants to do and why she wants to do it. Um, but if she can't afford the property, she can't afford a property. Obviously, that's part of the conversation. But yeah. um, I'd honor her. Um, and just my lonely mom wants to be around me in her last 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. So uh, she has no money. Is that what you're saying? Well, actually, Dave, it's fascinating. She took a she took a horrific fall a few years ago, and there was a settlement last year of $72,000. She put into our money market account. Mm -hmm. She also has no debt. She's got no car payments. So I've been, again, trying to walk her through the baby steps. I'm on 3B right now, personally, and um, she's got 138000 in her money market. You know, So I'd love to see her use that to buy a condo, but as we know, that won't get you anything in Southern California. I mean, there's some options for her for condos in Oregon, maybe Arizona or Nevada, but um, like you said, John, it's both, it's a math thing, but, uh, but also it's so emotional because when we lost the home, it was just, my, my mom and I lived in a hotel for a while. We were on mm. food stamps. So I think it's, she's kind of been shell shocked that she actually has money to do something with it now. Yeah. And sometimes that makes the 72,000 feel like it's 720,000 for her. And so right. uh, it, it's, it feels like it's a lot of money and you and I know it's not especially if you start talking about buying something in California. So, um, I, I, you know, I think you talk, work through the heart side and let's just admit where we are. And then let's look at the reality of the math and math says, mom, you're going to be one state over. That's probably what the math mm -hmm. says, but you don't start with that as the opening salvo in this discussion. Um, and, uh, so, and you don't bring her over there where you are supporting her. But just because she wouldn't make a decision to live within her means, and and demanded to be, had it was entitled to be close to you because that's not true, and so you know you 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 have to be kind and loving and put her in a position where she's self-sustaining and that gives her dignity, and then from there you can work out travel or whatever needs to be done to maintain the connectivity. I've got a little bit of a of what I would consider an unpopular belief on the kid side of this conversation. And I don't like to think of it as an obligation, Dave, or a rule, but I do find people my generation, their 30s and 40s, who don't feel like they have a responsibility. I don't even like that word because it, it makes it sound like mowing the lawn, but I think we should reach out to our parents and I think we should love our parents and I think we should spend intentional time trying to connect with them. And I think that I need to build into my life space where I'm with them either physically or if, if we can't do it where we're connecting. Um, and I know that turns into, well, then you got to move into the basement and there's all kinds of, it turns into a, a, a job, right? To a, like a responsibility. Well, it, it can but, be a, a rhythm of travel between LA and, and Oregon. And right. Oregon. You know what I mean? Because it's not that big a jump. Yeah. Or, or, or Nevada. But you're, you know, the responsibility wasn't what you were saying where you were so responsible for paying the bills to, to pay their bills no no but but i do i do hear this talk of my parents my mom just wants to come see me 
And I want to say, yeah, because that's your mom, and mm. she loves you. Mm. And if you have hardened your heart to a place where you just don't want to be around them, you don't want to see them, man, you got to look in the mirror on that one, because that's mm-hmm. your mom, that's your dad. And uh, of course, everyone's got their histories that they got to deal with. But I just want to see people my age, and this clearly isn't this guy. I I love John here. He's trying to, to solve this problem, both in a heart place and a math problem. But I want to see all of us lean more towards respecting our folks, trying to honor our folks and trying to be in connection with them in some shape, form, or fashion. We've got to reconnect with our lineage in those ways. I I think a lot of people have trouble delineating uh, the the emotional responsibility for connectivity versus financial responsibility for caretaking. That's right. It's like, if I do one, I got to do the other. And it's easy to get taken advantage of. Yeah. You oh, they're telling me they're, they're taking me, hey, can I have $500, right? Yeah, and I, uh, and I yeah. get the short leap Mom's there. Mom's a travel agent for guilt trips, you know. And so <laughs> That's right. It's like, you know, oh, I, I was the one who changed your diaper. You ought to give me some money, you know, and so um, that kind of stuff. If and, more if more young people were like John who sees his mom and loves her, wants to honor her, and also sees the the coming cash flow train wreck that's on the way, and wants that's, to reach that's out a really help. healthy place. What a gift, yeah. yeah. Very cool.